Twilight has an extensive cast. From allies to enemies, there's no shortage of vampires present in the world Meyer has created, especially when one begins to comb through the ranks of the Valtteri. Though Twilight has its detractors, there's something to be said for its world building. If nothing else, the Volteri present an intriguing band of villains. In previous videos, I've discussed Arrow, Jane, and Alec. But those three aren't the only powerful mainstays of the Volteri force. Several of its members have gifts, or useful skills, and foremost among those readers and moviegoers alike see is Felix. Unfortunately, for the purposes of this video, little is known about Felix's origins. Even his entry within the Twilight Illustrated Guide offers a relatively short description. Despite the lack of history, Felix's character appears almost as often as that of Jane. And in this video, I'll explain what I can of his character and what his role is within Twilight's clandestine troop of so-called law keepers. Before we continue, I'm Riley and this is Otherworldly Fiction. On this channel, I rant about fantasy books, discuss characters and lore, share my bookish opinion, and offer the occasional writing advice. If any of that sounds like your cup of blood, hit the subscribe button. Posts are on Fridays. Though Felix has little backstory when compared with other members of the Valtteri, he nevertheless makes an impression. With his hulking frame and joking manner, he's an anti-Emmet. Where the Collins send out the cheerful Emmet to serve as their muscle, the Valtteri send out Felix. Among his fellow coven members, Felix even has a playful side. He likes to joke, including with those he'd probably rather eat and he can be cavalier. He also flirts, complimenting Bella on her transformation into a vampire, even when he plans to kill her. However, unlike Emmett, Felix has a sadistic side to rival that of Jane or Caius. Moreover, he has a passion for doling out punishment. While Felix doesn't technically have a gift, he is a talented fighter, and his physical prowess extends beyond the norm. Like Emmett, he's stronger than most others, and he's an intimidating friend for the Italian bloodsuckers. Felix doesn't belong to the Inner Guard, donning a grey cloak where Jane's and Alex are black. The darker the cloak, the higher up a member is within the Volteri ranks. Wearing only grey, Felix can't be considered a part of the top echelon, but there's no doubt that Arrow values the vampire. Though several members of the Valtteri have served in a transitory capacity, particularly among those who are lower ranked, this is not the case for Felix. Ever present when something is happening, and continually called on by Arrow, Felix is one of the few without a psychic talent who manages to be an asset to his coven. Changed by Arrow himself, Felix has been among the Valtteri for centuries, while Arrow loves vampires with special powers, he also only accepts those vampires or humans into the Volteri he sees as being useful. The Volteri have a strict vetting process. Even Laurent, who would eventually team up with Victoria and James, was rejected by them. Those humans who impress Arrow might be changed and welcomed into the Volteri's ranks. While those hopefuls who don't will eventually be killed when they've outlived their usefulness as secretaries. For Arrow to single Felix out as a human and change him personally, Felix must have impressed him. Felix's greatest role for the Valtteri is that of punisher and executioner. He shows little remorse for his victims, even in cases where they are innocent, as demonstrated by his bored impatience to kill both Bree and Bella. Though Bella is saved by the potential arrow sees in her, Bree is not so lucky. As Jane also enjoys punishment, it is not uncommon for Felix to accompany her on missions. Felix is often seen with Dimitri, implying they are close friends. This has a certain logic, because it is Dimitri's job to track down lawbreakers. 
James might have been a skilled enough tracker, but James's talent pales in comparison to Dimitri's. If there is someone Dimitri wants to find, he will find them. Only death can stop him. As such, once Dimitri tracks someone down, it becomes Felix's job to wrap things up, so to speak. With a so-called criminal caught, Felix is usually the one appointed to execute them. Sometimes Alec will provide relief for the victim by cutting off their senses as they are killed. But there are few things which will save a person from destruction once Felix has been called on to kill them. Brought to Arrow, when she tried to save Edward, Bella encountered Felix before many of the other members of the guard. Led to the spacious and chilly chamber where the three leaders reposed, Bella was faced with death. She was a human in the know, and so she was, in the eyes of the Valtteri, a liability. Seeing Edward had no intention to change her, Arrow ordered Felix to kill Bella. Edward leaped to Bella's rescue, but Felix's strength was extraordinary. Winning the fight, it was only Bella's pleas and Arrow's suggestion to pause which prevented Felix from finishing Edward off. Alice also saved Bella, allowing Arrow to peer into her mind, where one of her visions of the future revealed Bella would be changed. Thrilled by the latent talents Bella already exhibited as a human, and assured of the future by Alice's thoughts, Arrow allowed the Collins to leave, though this wouldn't be the last meeting Bella would have with the cloaked antagonist. During Eclipse, Victoria led an army of newborns to ravage Seattle, allowing Riley Beers to call the shots so as to disguise her role in the proceedings from Alice, Victoria communicated her desires to Riley behind closed door. During one such meeting, she was visited by a contingent of the Volteri, as evidenced by Bree and Diego, two members of Riley's newborn army who decided to eavesdrop. While Jane led this band, Felix was present too. Though not named directly, a low chuckle heard by Bree implies his presence. Moreover, the films and showing Jane's awareness of the newborn army, reveal that Felix accompanies her on their mission. Of course, even Felix can face Jane's burning glare if he doesn't follow her orders. Felix met Bella for a third time in Breaking Dawn, following her transformation, when called on to annihilate the Collins. Coming face to face with her, Felix joked, after complimenting Bella, that it was too bad leaving the rest of his statement unspoken. Bella, though, got the hint and responded in kind. Thankfully, the intervention of Alice, as well as the power of Bella's shield, saved the day. Out of reasons to attack, and facing a gathered force, which might actually hurt them at best, and defeat them at worst, the Valtteri retreated, and the Collins lived happily ever after. In conclusion, it's a shame there isn't more of a story attached to Felix, especially given his prominence within the series. Menacing and described by Bella as being like an iron cudgel, Felix, at once terrifying and teasing, makes an impression. What little of his character is seen has intrigued some readers, and several questions are raised by what little we do know. First, what did he do while human to impress Arrow? With his great strength and powerful frame, who was he? Was he a traveler, a fighter, or a farmer? How did Arrow meet him? And how did Arrow come to decide he would prove useful, talent or no? In the centuries Arrow walked the planet, he must have encountered any number of muscular vampires or humans, so something about Felix must have impressed him. Felix is also described as an able fighter, not only because of his raw power, but because of his skill. He never loses a one-on-one -on -one fight, and he can anticipate his opponent's every move. It's possible he showed such a knack while human. This is only my theory, but what if Arrow encountered a human Felix in a fight? Possibly Felix was cornered, faced with a foe seemingly greater than himself, or several fighters. However, though the odds seemed stacked against him, Felix might have won such a fight with Arrow as a witness. 
Impressed by his uncanny fighting skills, Arrow might then have approached him, asking if he'd like greater opponents to fight than what other humans could provide. It seems as likely an idea as any other. Secondly, there's Felix's connection to Dimitri. Unlike Felix, Dimitri does have more of a backstory, but that's a subject for another video. What drew the two together in the first place? How did they befriend each other and why? Again, I can only theorize, but it's possible they bonded on a shared mission. Pushed to work together, they may simply have become friends through continued close proximity. Finally, there's the idea of the life he led before. Where did he develop his fighting abilities? Could he be like Jasper, learning his skills from a military background? Or was he simply someone who liked to hang around taverns and pick fights, throwing his rivals on their asses each time? It's a subject which would be interesting to see addressed in a short story or short film. Personally, I picture Felix as someone who enjoyed fights, joining in bets, or simply beating up someone who tried to mess with him, it's easy for me to picture his human self piling a tavern's floor with bruised and groaning bodies. What are your theories around Felix's background? Which Twilight character would you like me to explain next? Sound off in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and happy reading!